Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. Before we get started, have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button on my main page. And once you have done this, don't forget to click on that bell to be the first to get notified when I upload a new video. In today's video, I will be showing you how to get rid of any viruses, any malware, any annoying pop-ups or web browser hijackers from your Windows PC. The methods we will be using in this video are 100% free, which means you don't have to spend a penny. To start off with, all you need to do is click on the first link that's in the description below and you will end up on a page that looks like this. Once you are on this page, you now need to click on free download and we now need to scroll all the way down and click on download. We now need to click on save file. And once the file has finished downloading, we now need to run the setup file. We now need to click install. And it will begin to install CCleaner. Once it has finished installing, we now need to untick this little checkbox here and press run CCleaner. You now need to go through this massive list of all the programs that are on our computer and just tick what you want to remove. For example, here we have Microsoft Edge. I want to remove any data for my sessions. I want to definitely remove any, it, the main things that we do want to remove, which you do need to tick, is your internet cache, your internet history. We want to remove our cookies. And the other stuff probably doesn't matter too much. And that will be the same for all web browsers. If I go across to applications quickly, for Firefox, we want to do the same. We want to remove our internet cache, our internet history, our cookies, and also we want to remove, I suppose we could do compact databases as well. But everything else should actually be okay because removing passwords, saved form information and stuff like that doesn't really matter. But if you do want to be on the safe side and you do have all your passwords and login details backed up, then go ahead and remove everything. We now need to go back to Windows and we need to scroll all the way down and we just want to tick everything under Windows Explorer. And we now want to tick everything under System. And we want to actually tick everything for Advanced. Instead of having to click on each one independently, we can actually click on this little logo here and it will pop up and select everything for us. We just now need to keep pressing OK and untick wipe free space and custom files and that is all okay obviously just double check that you are happy with what you're removing here as i don't want you to delete anything that you shouldn't but on my machine i'm happy with all that that's not going to affect me at all and for like old prefetch or old windows files and stuff like that they they are the sort of places where these viruses do kind of store themselves and that is why it really is important we do a deep clean once you're happy with all that we can now go ahead and press run cleaner and we can go continue you will need to close down your web browser to actually do a cleanup on the web browser but i'm just going to skip that message when it pops up once that has finished cleaning, you will now have a little window that basically tells us how much rubbish we have removed from our computer. And that is quite embarrassing for my machine because I do like to try and keep it up together. But as you can see, that is a lot of junk that it has removed. But that is good because guaranteed there could have been a virus within that junk. And we may now have removed that virus by doing a simple clean. The next thing is to go across to registry and we now want to scan for any issues. Once the scan has finished, you now need to click on fix selected issues and you do need to do a backup of your registry. So click yes and then save your backup anywhere on your hard drive. Once you have done that, it will begin to fix any issues. I'm not actually going to do a backup. I'm just going to press no and go fix all selected issues. And there we go. That's done. You now need to go down to tools and we actually want to go through our uninstall list and just make sure you don't have any programs on your computer that could be a virus. If there is a program on this list that you do not recognize and you're thinking, hold on, I never installed that onto my computer, click on the program and press uninstall. And that program could be what's giving you issues on your computer. 
The next thing we are going to do is go across to Startup. Just make sure nothing dodgy is starting up with your Windows machine. As you can see, I don't have many programs there and everything looks okay. You now need to click on the second link that's in the description below and you will end up on a page that looks like this. You now need to click on Download Free and you need to go Save File. Once the download has finished, we now need to run the setup file and you now need to go OK and we now need to go Agree and Install. Once the install has finished, we now need to click on Finish and we now need to open up Malwarebytes. You now need to just press the little X here and we actually want to click on Scan Now. And this will now scan our entire computer to make sure there is no malware. Once Malwarebytes has finished doing the scan, it will now pop up whether it has found some threats on your machine or hasn't found any threats on your machine. As you can see, it hasn't found any threats on my PC, which means it's perfectly fine. But if yours has found some threats, then you now need to click on delete or clean or whatever the option is, I can't actually remember. And then we now need to click on the third link that's in the description below. Also, I will say about Malwarebytes, obviously we have just installed the premium trial. You can carry on using this for 14 days and then if you do actually like the program, you can purchase it. It is a really good program, but if you don't want to purchase it, then they do offer a free version. So basically you're going to have to download the program again and when we had that option to do a advanced install you can select that and then you can select the free version. Right, we now need to click on the third option that's in the description below and you will end up on a page that looks like this. You now need to click on free download and we need to go save file. I will also say actually about Malwarebytes if it didn't find any threats, if you reboot your computer into safe mode to do this, all you need to do is go down to the bottom left hand corner of your screen and just click and then type in msconfig and click on system configuration. And if you now go across to boot and then select safe boot, it will now load up into safe mode. Just press apply and restart your computer. And then once you are finished in safe mode, do the same again, type in msconfig, go onto system configuration and just untick this safe boot option. And then just press okay. Once a fast has finished downloading, we can now run the setup file. This is the best antivirus program for Windows 10. There is no other better antivirus program in my personal opinion. I'm now going to deselect these options down here because I'm not interested in a fast secure browser. We now need to click on install. Once the install is finished, you now need to go continue. And you need to press continue again. And we now need to click on no, I don't want to protect my Android phone and no thanks. You now need to go down to protection and we now need to click on scans. And you now need to click on full virus scan. And this will scan our entire computer for any viruses. Once the scan has finished, it will either pop up with no issues found or it will pop up with issues found. And you just simply then need to clean up the issues. Once you have done that, we now need to go back to protection and you now need to click on scans again. And we now need to go across to boot time scan and we want to click on run on next PC reboot. And basically this will scan our computer before it actually loads into Windows. And that is it for this video. Hopefully you have managed to remove any viruses or malware that is on your computer. I hope this tutorial has helped. If it has, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.